Today, we're feeding all my fish. Why? Because it's been a while since I put a video out where I went around and fed all my fish. Also, because I just got a new shipment of North Bend Foods in, and you guys can see for yourself what, how I like to feed my fish and what they like, so let's check it out. By the way, before we get started, check out my about info on my channel page. If you haven't known already, I am a Higer affiliate. There's an affiliate link. If you want to buy anything from Higer, please use my link. I'll get a small com commission from it. It'll really help out my channel. And North End Foods is a sponsor as well. And um, if you want to have a chance to get some free North End Foods, not sample bags of food either, full bags, check out my live stream Saturday 9 a.m. Eastern. So this is the Petco tank I found on the side of the road that I raised my, semi-raised my fry in and I'm growing them out in. These guys like a variety of different foods. Today, we're gonna to give them some North Fin Community, which is a very small pellet, as you can see here. They love to eat and they go after it. As with all my fishes we go on, just so I don't have to keep mentioning it, I variety my fish's diet with a lot of different foods, but mainly I went to North Fin, not because they sponsor me, but because I love their business and I love their ingredients in their food. Um, it's very healthy and the fish love it. So going forward, just know that I feed different formulas. These angelfish are doing absolutely phenomenal. They're doing great, they're growing great, they're healthy, they're happy. And they're gonna be moving out of this tank, but I'll talk about that in another video. Of course here, my nice, big, beautiful, super colorful Jack Dempsey. One of his most favorite things to eat is North Bend Tropical Sticks and North Bend Jumbo. This is North Bend Jumbo. As you can see, boom, loves it. Perfect size, fit several in his mouth. He is a pig, I gotta be careful. He has put wafers in his mouth that are lar way too large, but I've come to learn that these fish work it out and they get it broken up. Love this guy. Going on to my big Oscars here. One of their current favorite foods is North Fin Carnival wafers. It's a big 10 millimeter wafer. Packed full of high quality ingredients and nutrition. They absolutely love them. As you can see here. I also like to throw in some veggies for them, some kelp wafers from North End. They love them, they eat them up. So, sorry for all the noise, but I just, like I said, got a new shipment of North End foods today and I put it all in my container so once it's packed full, it's a little harder to get out. I'm not a fan of the sealable bags that North End Foods come in. They work just fine and they keep the food fresh, but I like putting all my food in these containers. A lot of times I'll mix food to make things easier. As you can see, I have kelp wafers mixed with carnivore wafers and I'll also put algae wafers in here and it just makes things easier. Feeding out of one container instead of multiple bags. We're gonna go ahead and feed the goldfish now, North Fin. Goldfish, which it is mixed in with a little bit of the extreme goldfish food that I had left over. I also like I, I put together a little veggie pellet mix that I like. I use North Fin's veggie pellets mixed with New Life Spectrum's Algae Max pellets. I'll feed these to my Mbunas a lot. They're both different sizes, but it's very important that goldfish get their veggies. I have tried to feed my goldfish actual vegetables, but they don't like it. They pick at it and spit it out. Same with my plecos, they're not interested in green beans or anything. But they do love these. There's more of them, they're, they're hiding somewhere. There's one back Moving there. Moving on to my ambunas. Like I said prior, I like to feed them the veggie mix. They are herbivore. Well, they eat more plants than anything, but they're not exactly herbivore. They will eat meaty stuff too. That is the veggie mix I talked about. Now this mix here is extreme nice, extreme cichlid peewee mixed with um, North Fin Cichlid, North, North Fin Krill, Krill Pro, and North Fin Bug Pro. This is a mix, a high quality mix. And I'll throw that in there for them as well. I do have some smaller Mbunas in here and smaller babies, so I'll throw in some Nano and things like that as well. Love the color of this tank, love the Mbuna. I actually have plans to move these guys as well. 
again for another video. Here's my 125 gallon community tank. I got, a, as you can see, some beautiful blood parrots in here, some beautiful angelfish. There's a large, a large common pleco in here, but he's going to be coming out. Um, if you can't tell, as I've been saying throughout the video, I got a lot of changes coming to this fish room, even though I just had a big change moving my fish room from my inside my house out to my garage. Um, with this tank, I like to feed the North Fin Cichlid Flakes, the Krill Flakes, and the Kelp Flakes. I'll mix it up, alternate by the day. But the reason why I like to have the bigger flakes that North Fin offers like these, watch how I feed them because it is the, it's how I know that these blood parrots are getting food. I just put a video out not long ago about North Fin foods. And you can literally see them suck these flakes in. They'll come right up to me when I put it in. But I got to make sure they eat because with those, mish with those mouths, they can't eat real well, but as you can see, when I put a cloud of flakes in there, they can suck it right in. And whatever gets broken up, all the other fish eat, and their flakes are just as high quality as their pellets. There is some black skirt tetras in here. There's some Pictus catfish on the left side, which I make sure they get the North Fin carnivore pellets and algae as well. There is a one lonely old Cory cat in here floating around, and there is one in Buna in here. That was bullied from the other ones that I moved in here a long time ago. He's happy, he's healthy, he's doing good, and he doesn't even pick on anybody else. I have a good balance in most of my aquariums. This is my 29 gallon, heavily planted, kind of like a little community tank, just small fish in here. You got your neon tetras, your platies. There's a, a zebra danio in here. Um, it's a little lightly stocked. I'll probably be adding some smaller fish in here as I condense. I'm going to go ahead and feed them North Fend community. Very small pellet. I've seen with the angel fish before. They'll find that. It sinks pretty quick. Oh yeah, the rasboras are in here too. And, oh, I forget the name. Rose line or... Rose, I can't remember. Right to left in here, there's one more single long fin serpe tetra. This is a female beta in there, and this 20 gallon long is a, is a mustard gas beta with a crap ton of cherry shrimp. The next 20 gallon down in there is just a little community tank. That is a dirted sand cap tank with, again, just a bunch of small fish. It's probably gonna end up going into that 29 gallon over there. And the last tank way down there in the very end is a father fish style aquarium that I did a live stream on with father fish himself and put it together. He sent me all the plants and his magic recipe dirt. I provided the tank, the sand and everything else. And I rescued a couple glowfish in the community. The tank had just cycled, so I went ahead and put them in there and they're still in there doing good. want to we can go down the line and feed these guys now I do have a mix of North Fin Nano or North Fin Beta pellets and I think there is there's some extreme aquatics beta food in here or no uh, fin sex from flukers they love this food I have tried to feed these fish other foods they don't know about it but they like this the best you're not going to be able to see real good She was up top waiting. He usually is. I absolutely love the plants that Father Fish sent me. They're thriving. They're doing fantastic. Love the hornwort. Love the pennywort. Um, I actually moved some of the plants because it was growing up out of the aquarium so much. Right there, right there you can see it's doing it again. I put it in my 55-gallon tiger barb tank over here. The lights are slowly going out in this tank. I just fed these guys North Fin community before um, I started this video, so I do not want to feed them again. But they're doing great. Love my tiger barbs. One of my favorite fish. As you can see, the plant I was just talking about is right here. It needed more plants. I am going to get some more tiger barbs for this tank in the near future because I want a large school of them. Absolutely one of my favorite fish. Most One of the most common fish you can get, but if you can tame them, tame them and get them living together in harmony like I do here, I just love seeing them all swimming around in a school. And the bigger the school, the better. Well, guys, that's it for right now. Consider becoming a member of the channel if that would interest you and help support the channel so I can do a lot more things and help give back to you. I've got a lot of awesome things coming down the line. A super secret hidden addition is coming to the um, fish room here. Only a few people know about. I'm going to be doing a uh, members only video on that and then it'll go to public some hours later once that's done. Sorry, I didn't mean to kick the camera there. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed walking around with me and feeding the fish. As you can see, i got lots of greenery in the new fish room. Things are looking great. So... We'll see you out in the field. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for walking around with me.